Soon you'll be dead. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -da -ba pushing up daisies or kept in an urn when you're dead. She's an angry elf. Anyway. Uh love how they're pressured or lonely. You can't be just your normal. Nope. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spider webs. Yuck. <laughs> Yeah, because you're, like, you're losing points on world demeanor, history, and economics. Uh, I could do some more... Uh... Well, I, I might do some weapons, because yeah. I have that. I'm, and then I'll do... I think I'll do intrigue as well. You're gonna do swords, archery, or pole arms. Ah, you're gonna learn to be a Navajo codebreaker. Sure. You take up a wooden sword and practice correct grips and stances. You practice reading words whose letters have been arranged in reverse order, simplest of transpositions, which anyone illiterate can puzzle through if they try, but sometimes useful to hide information. <laughs> As you're walking one day in the gardens, you hear a strange sound and look up to see an owl flying overhead. Ooh. A single dry leaf flutters its talons. That's funny, I thought owls were nocturnal. Guess I was wrong. When you return to the castle, your father is waiting for you. There is a woman here to see you. She wishes crowdfunding for her project. Thank you for seeing me, your royal highness. I, I come on behalf of all the people. I wish to build a hospital where any citizen afflicted with disease can be brought for treatment. Putting all the sick people together, wouldn't that make them die even faster? You're not interested. <laughs> like, Jesus fucking Christ. Man. Fuck the people! <laughs> <laughs> God, she is fucking annoying. Well, you know, she doesn't know things. You're the reason she's not educated. Well, I'm thinking, I'm trying to get, like, everything, but you know what? The fucking minus shit, it doesn't get me there. Exactly, that's life. Sitting on court sessions is not fun at all, but pleases your father, and it may be important for your future. So what's her mood now? She's an angry elf. It's like the fifth time you've said that. Yep. Yeah. It okay. was the second time, but fuck you. You said it a lot. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. So I got losses on medicine, royal demeanor, expression, and animal handling. You can put some more accounting in, it might be able enough to get you into the uh Yeah. Into the treasury. Both of them on accounting. That, that there you go. I mean I was joking, but okay. Yeah, it'll do it. Uh, short-term goals require short-term solutions. Where is that counting again? Economics. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> You've studied the, manip the manipulation of larger quantities through direct calculations using written numbers instead of an abacus. You study money lending and the controversies involved in charging interest. According to the druids, one should always return more than one has loaned, or else the debt gave no value to the world. Remember that? Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, man. <laughs> Remember that the festival of the good lady is approaching. Which lady? I don't know. A good one. There will be a public celebration for the commoners, those filthy fucking commoners, followed by a grand gala for the nobility. A grand ball? They'll be dancing? As queen, you would be expected to lead the procession and take part in the ceremonial planting, possibly give a speech. However, since you are not yet crowned, it is not required and may not be safe to expose you to the public. What do you mean, not safe? Outside of the castle, you are less well protected. If anyone means you harm, think on it now. Decide later. Will the Duke of Sedna attend the gala? It is a traditional Novan event. Inviting your fiancé might be seen as a statement. Conversation failed. Maybe spend the time. Why didn't you invite him? Fuck him. There is a letter for you as well. It's from Brioni. I went to school with her, but she's a couple years older than me. Her mother is the Duchess of Mead. She's complaining that her mother still won't let her come home for the holidays. If I only let that bitch fucking kill her. <laughs> Apparently her Uncle Keevan is acting strangely lately and shouting at shadows. She's bored and looking for an adventure. We call that schizophrenia, I don't have any to suggest to her. Right, yeah, let's see if the accountant gets us in there now. 
Probably not. I don't know. Th- I feel like 30 is probably enough. Fuck! <laughs> How much do we need? God damn it! Well, there's also presents, so... Yeah, but we had the penalty on that last yeah, time. Yeah, that's let's see, if, let's see if it's changed. Probably not. Uh, no. <laughs> but you get a bigger boost on economics. And I can't imagine it's more than 50. So keeping it on both, it should be enough to clear us through it. Yeah. Hmm. Also, whenever I hear "good lady," I just think of uh, Dan- uh, the show "Toddlers and Tiaras" because of a meme. Huh? You study bookkeeping and the art of notating incomes and expenditures, as well as how to determine the amount of funds a solvent business needs to keep in hand in order to continue functioning. You learn about the concept of diminishing returns, a point after which spending more on a particular project fails to improve it as much as the previous spending did. You know, there's this literally there's a scene from like toddlers and tiaras because my mom and sister used to watch it constantly. Ew. Yeah, it, it was the 2000s. It was the style at the time. And there's this one kid who's like they had a pacifier and they called it Nini. And it was like, oh, Nini was a good lady, but she died. Okay. Today is the procession I'm planting for the festival of the good lady. Will you be leading the parade? If you have any concerns about your safety, please stay here. Because she died. The people will recover from disappointment if we lose you. There is no recovery. Uh, honestly, I kind of want to just, like, see if she dies. Okay. I'm not afraid. I'm going to be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. You prepare for your best gown for the occasion, then walk slowly through the town with your attendants. It would not be appropriate for you to wear a sword, so you do not walk with a sturdy golden scepter. That's taller than you are. Oh, so this this way pole arms would be, you know, useful. At the end of the route, you help the priestesses turn over the earth for the new tree to be planted. When the new... No, sorry. The then the attendees join in yeah, song. Yeah, I know. That was the, the progression regroups to return to the castle. See, nothing happened, Dad. Fuck you. <laughs> it might... It might okay, now, now we can get the fucking, our fucking crystal. And well, we the presents the might not be fucking... We only, I think we only need one. Okay, yeah, we need both. Fuck. They waver slightly, but in the end, they stand by your father's. Oh, okay, fuck off, man! Okay, hold on. What? What? I guess. What do we need for to fix the presents? Ugh. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't really say. Yeah, but hold on. It's expression, so it's like social. Check the mood. It might be cheerful. Or, it, or, yeah, I think it might be cheerful. I could be wrong. Okay. I don't know. Or you said the cheerful, or cheerful or angry. Because I feel like willful would be useful for presence. Yeah, okay. So we'll try to lower anger and up cheerful. If we survive. If we survive. I, I, don't, I was expecting this to take a lot, but we'd die a lot sooner. Like, yeah, well. That's why I chose this. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, shit. Uh. Sorry. Oh, wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Sorry, I'm just naturally gifted. Like, so, uh, okay, so th- that's what it says. So angry is why we get the penalty to expression. So we got to be less angry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or at least not have angry be the primary. Okay. So if we reduce angry and, like, increase willful slightly, we'll be good. But for now... So hmm. might as well take advantage of what the weapons and military shit, I yeah. guess. Uh... Get your sword! Skills. No, classes. Classes. Weapons. Uh, let's go with. Pole arms. Actually, Give you yeah. a pole arm. Ew. <laughs> uh, no, I've, got a, I've got a fucking spear right over here. I was trying to be nice, but fine if you don't want it. I have my machete. <laughs> you study the strengths and weaknesses of different weapons in battle formations. You learn how to twist a wax bowstring from a variety of fibers. How do you make a wax bowstring from a variety of fibers? Mm. Are you ready for the grand ball? All the nobles in the domain are here to see you, to see their queen. (laughs) You finish dressing and ascend the stairs to make a grand entrance. All around, the rich and powerful pause in their activities to gaze upon you, the ruler of them all. Seeing your fa- yourself reflected in so many eyes makes you want to run away and hide. After a moment, you force yourself to cry to carry on, but you're sure they've all seen you hesitate. Your father waits for you at the bottom of the stairs and offers you his arm. The first dance is for 
Us. And you're gonna step on both his feet. He guides you gently around the dance floor, never rushing you. It's fun to dance with your father, but look, but the look in his eyes is sad. After this, you must choose your own partner. There are a number of men who hope to catch your eye. The Duke of Kegel. Kegel. Hello, and has brought three eligible sons, all near your age. But I'm already betrothed to the Duke of Sedna. That does not bar you from dancing. So he's telling you to be a whore. Fantastic. Eh, sure, why not? You look around the room at all of your possible partners, which is to say, everyone. No one may begin dancing until you do. You can pick whomever you want, and you will not be denied. <laughs> oh, I was going to go with someone already married. <laughs> you approach Lindley, the second son of the Duke of Kegel. He's about two years older than you and is always nice to see you at school. He bows to you with a great curtsy and you begin to dance. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Now every move is a mystery. Unfortunately, you lose track of which steps you're supposed to do when and trip over your own feet. Oops! Hey, I had some dance. Between the dances, there's time for the guests to mingle, chat, and t sample tiny bits of exquisite food. During a lull in the music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps on an elegant fingernail against the wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. Uh, I... That was you. I might have your attention. I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely... I love how I just went from, like... Twink to Alan Rickman. Yeah. <laughs> to our lovely hostess. I was wondering why you weren't doing at least one of them, Alan Rickman, the whole time. Her roads of wisdom guide us through our difficulties. Everyone applauds politely. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe nobles that you rarely see. There's Gwinnell, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury. Only months older than you, and due to finally inherit to finally uh, to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele, the youngest daughter of the Duchess of Lila and a fierce sportswoman, she was a few years ahead of you at school and the absolute terror of the ball fields. Yeah, of course the ball fields, fucking horror. No, Brioni. She had said her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together. The Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are here, of course. It would be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. It's nice to be able to enjoy time with your friends and family, isn't it? You sense you didn't sense the magic. Okay. Alright, so we need to reduce angry, or, like, reduce angry in ways of raise willful. Uh, so make her more afraid and more willful. Hmm. Really, anything that makes it more afraid will probably be enough to sway it. Okay. Uh, hey, wander, wander, wander. Yuck. And mood. It should be such other skills. Yes, no more penalty to expression. Or no, to uh, conversation. Wait, which one's presence? It was royal demeanor. It went worse. <laughs> what the fuck? I was supposed to fix it. Okay, so it looks like willful is not good for royal demeanor. So if we pressure anyone, and I think what the fuck was the other one? Pressured and lonely, or no, pressured and cheerful. Hit mood. Yeah, we have to be pressured and cheerful. God damn it. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, military still has military and faith have like pretty high bonuses. Let's do some intrigue because I don't think I've done. Yeah, I have did barely, a little ciphering on it. Yeah. So. so we'll do that. Why are we still alive? God damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry the that fuck? I'm so naturally gifted. <laughs> You're so coincidentally not dying. I we again walking ass backwards into victory. I guess <sighs> that's the theme of this channel. Yeah. Internal affairs is what your dad calls his fantasies. <laughs> hey, you were the one who took it there! Don't back out now, you fucking coward! We're not backing out like Stand that. in your dump! I can do it, you can't do it. <laughs> it's my channel, I can do what I want. Until you have children of your own, your maternal uncle, the Duke of Merva, is next in line for the crown. And after him would be his daughter, your cousin Charlotte. 
You learn that the sea is not something that you hold, it is something you travel across. Naval strategy ensures your free travel while denying it to your enemies. Mm, okay. no, no ocean travel for the pores. You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. Ooh, is he gay? Oh, no. Uh, f uh, oh. You're too kind, Jocelyn! Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a, than a decade your senior. Far too old to have ever been your friend, and yet not all as old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband, and your father's arm in her grasp. How dare she make a move on your father? That is your dick! Okay, shame her, insult her, or trip her. You wait until Countess gets close, then hook your foot around, the, around to make her stumble. Unfortunately, you get your feet tangled up and end up tripping yourself, falling to the ground with a thud, you oaf. Elodie, are you alright? Eh. <laughs> Oh dear, she does need a bit of looking after, doesn't she? Not by you! Ah, damn it. I should go now. I hope to see more of you later. Once she's gone, you raise... You raise an eyebrow. Whatever. This is the path that you have set us on. Fucking Duchess Dewberry. What do you mean? Your acts have made everyone think about preparations for the future. Caloris needs an heir. Your brother, your uncle Armand. My brother, your uncle Armand. My brother, your uncle Armand is looking for a wife as well. One of us at least must produce more children. But, Mama. Nothing can ever replace your mother. Except you, you know, if you want to go that way. But, uh, but we often do things that we don't want to do. Eh. You should be careful on how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. There haven't been any problems so far, aside from me denying them education and health care. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. I'm paying attention to what's around me! Fuck you! You know my dad! I, I am? No, you're not! She told me the truth before she died! <laughs> you were just the courtesan! So, yielding and afraid are the um, more yielding... A oh, plus two yielding for, for that one. And it'll increase pressure to depressed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, mood. I check skills. That'll tell us, like, the important part. All right, uh... You know what? I'm still gonna fucking do it, because, like... Okay. It. I'm, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> I'll just do both for presents, because I want that goddamn crystal. <laughs> okay. It's royal demeanor. Yeah. You practice wearing royal regalia and looking at yourself in the mirror. Young as you are, you are a queen of the blood. You are your mother's daughter. You are a force to be reckoned with. You're too angry to focus properly on the subject right now. Fuck you! It is the time of year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there is always some room for discretion. Discretion. Yeah, counting! Based, Based on the records of notes of your current expenditures, if you maintain the current rate of tax, you will still have 9,995 gold lassie and 42 silver lassie available for special projects. You can't imagine any reason you would need to spend so much you can afford you, you could afford lower taxes. Lower them taxes. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. <laughs> the king thinking, damn it, that's money. I was gonna get a jet ski. All right. I was gonna pay that whore ten thousand dollars. All right, let's see. Okay, so it's still partial success. Oh. Yeah. Just, just leave it on fuck. It. Just like fucking leave it. Just like just, you know, grind our way grind up to it, it. Right. and hope we survive. Yeah. Fuck it, we ball. You stare at yourself in the mirror, practicing focusing and transmitting energy with only your eyes, turning the intensity of your gaze on and off at will. You're too angry. You're requested to stand in judgment. Oh, God. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. 
He does not deny the act or request a pardon that he might be set free. Then, okay, then fuck you. If you admit you killed your wife, why do you think I'm going to set you free? Save me, your majesty. It wasn't my fault. Demons made me do it. Oh, the, the, the God told me to. Yeah, okay. Everyone knows the power of magical beasties. Is it, yeah, this says B. I thought I was doing... Okay, yeah. They used me. They twisted my fingers into chains. Yeah, I My wife found me screaming. She tried to shake me and the chains wrapped around her. Yeah, I call a whole bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I need the priestesses to bless me to make me clean again. Yeah, no. He just, wants, he just wants a free a free bath. Demons that make people, make you attack people? Is that even possible? N I don't care. I don't care whether there are demons or not. You're still a murderer and your life is forfeit. You'll be hanged in public as a deterrent to future criminals. He opens up to argue with you, but then his shoulders slump. Yes, your majesty. <laughs> Alright. Jesus Christ, she is God damn it. so angry. <laughs> Fucking. Alright. You need some reduce anger. Uh. Visit the tomb. Let's visit the tomb. Yeah, that was plus one of. Okay, yeah. Pay your respects I have enough mom. willful that it'll yeah. be fine. Let's focus on increasing, a pre increasing depression more than anything else. Okay. That should help. Alright. And just keep grinding away. <laughs> At the presence, because if, if we keep doing it long, we're averaging up with like an increase of a 10 every turn. So we can't do it much longer anyway. You practice using different styles of breathing in order to feel more energetic and let that energy surround your, for you f for others to share. You plant your feet in a strong stance, imagining that you are a tree, deeply rooted in the earth. You can feel that power within you and you know that you will not be pushed aside. You received word of an unfortunate incident at the gallows where the man you judged was sent to be executed. He was led to the platform. He suddenly lashed out with explosive magical power, killing several guards and spectators before making his escape. The population is buzzing with rumors of a secret cabal of evil lumens who sacrifice innocents for their dark rituals. Oh, nice. Hot. Okay, let's see. God damn it! I guess we have to have, like, the full 50... It says accounting failed. Okay, then okay, then yeah, shift it to like the other economics then. I'll I'll keep it on presence just in case. Well, if we keep it on presence, the the penalty will make, keep it from going up. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Uh economics will do trade. Yeah, we need and we need up trade and production. Production. They learn that individual peddlers travel between villages and cities, some on foot with packs and mules, others riding horses or wagons, sometimes different wagons grouped together to form a caravan. You learn how farmers in the Duchy of Marie rotate between fields of raising crops and fields that lie fallow. That lie fallow. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan, Duke Regent of Aleth, has passed away. This isn't really a surprise. He was pretty ill. Oh, wait, no, sorry. The problem is the political implications. With the control of Eleth in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Aris, the Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Almost the entire eastern border... I don't know anything about really bad about her, though. The boy does have a living grandfather, the Earl of Ishtar. Ah! Ishtar! Hell yeah! Or he might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his steed. Okay, so the grandfather? Yeah. The Earl of Ishtar is the closest blood relation that Adar has. He should be regent. Okay. Again, super Purple angry. Air. Just like, fuck it. It doesn't so matter since we're not focusing on the, the presence anymore. Okay. So just do whatever you want. I'll talk to her, I guess. It doesn't matter, because you don't have the crystal. Oh, or is it time for another plan? That'd probably be the drastic action she mentioned. Fuck it. I suppose I'll have to listen to another plan. Leave it to me. Fine! Eh. That night, an explosion rocks the castle. A section of stone near the royal treasury collapses, crushing the guards on duty. It's drastic. Nothing is stolen, at least nothing that is acknowledged publicly. But when you look at your father's face, you can see it in his eyes. The crystal is gone. 
and he knows that you are to blame. He will never trust you the same way again. Okay. Well, you know, if he hadn't been such a bitch, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah, so fuck you. That's on him. Fuck you, old man. Anyway, let me try to learn some skills that are useful. <laughs> uh, athletics is still good. You got a decent, uh, ex decent bonus on weaponry and military. Yeah, I might do. Uh, I might. Yeah, I'll do history because I haven't done a lot of that. What? What? You laughed. Is there something I, I there? I did not. Okay. That was just a noise. Mm -hmm. You read about the history of your domain. Hundreds of years ago, Nova was the center of a great empire spanning the length of the western coast, as well as a few island territories. Over time, your influence has waned. Because your dad's a cuck. You study the relationship of Nova to its nearest neighbors. The borders have been mostly peaceful in recent years, except for the problems with Ixion to the south. However, trouble may be brewing in Pyrrhus as well. There is a woman here to see you. She is a musician and wishes crown patronage. Hey, dude, you gotta be a little bit louder because you're far oh. away from the mic. Which means money! You wanna do this one or should I? <laughs> uh. You're hard <hurting> not <laughs> <laughs> your Royal Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I have dabbled in musical styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and lighten your evenings. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. She's actually pretty good. Very well. You can remain as part of the court. I will do my best for you. All right, now let's see what this bitch has to say. Okay, I just still want to check that. Do you have it? Do you have it, don't you? The crystal, of course. Everything is ready for you. Right. Did you really have to kill the guards? If you regret the sacrifice, then do not let it go to waste. Too late to turn back now. I have to do the best I can for my people. Like, keep denying them education. Pick up the crystal with your bare hands, press it against your chest over your heart, and say, Illuminate. Okay, here we go. Illuminate! And then you become a magical girl. Sailor Moon? <laughs> Nudity? Ew. <laughs> you feel dizzy and both larger and lighter than you were before. The crystal has disappeared from view, but you know where it is. Wow! It's amazing butt plug! <laughs> the priestesses have a friend of mine. I will come to lessons in the faith and train you to use your powers. I should feel happy, I guess. I'm illumined now. I just hope I'm doing the right thing. You're not, but it's okay. Now you can learn to do magic! Okay. That's pretty good. Mm hmm. My brain was like, do the magical Do Re Mi song, but I don't remember any of it, really. You close your eyes and learn to feel the magic inside you. You, su you learn to summon a small glowing light which you can then move around independently. You have also started watching Winx Club to bone up on your knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you receive a letter from your Lord Adair. It's an extremely formal letter from such a little boy. He said he was two years away from... He's like 13. You're 14. What the fuck? thanking you for your wisdom and allowing him to live with his grandfather, who probably dictated every word he wrote. Now, now I got the magical the Raimi song stuck in my head. I don't remember the words, but I remember the like the, the vibe. Let's do some poison shit. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I have a thing in that. Yeah, you uh, lose points. Uh, let's do world history. Sure, why not? Okay. I remember the first time I played this, I was just like, I'm going to be a dictator. <laughs> okay. You increase your awareness on your own thoughts and emotions, making it more difficult for mind-affecting magic to twist your reactions. You look at the globe of the world, reading names of places so distant you can't remember ever hearing about them. 
and other areas left blank because no explorer venturing there was ever returned. Then how'd they have a map of it? Uh, shush. <laughs> oh, your logistics uh, and up. trade failed. Staring up into the sky out your window, you notice a strange flash of light. A falling star! Pretty! You pay okay, yeah, blah blah blah. Dead mom, dead mom. Okay. Why do we gotta unlock a costume? I don't give a shit. I do. <laughs> We're still here, so I care now. Uh alright. Okay. Hey. Public speaking, and then pole arms. Okay. That way you'll know what you're being stabbed with at your at your coronation speech. You practice tongue-twisting sequences of syllables to improve your enunciation. You learn about a variety of long weapons, from the quarterstaff to the spear to the halberd and glaive. A, a glaive isn't a pole arm, though. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my Who sent this? It isn't signed. It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that is entirely inappropriate for a queen. And probably a fifteen-year-old. It's medieval times. It was that was like the the peak age of like oh she's like a milf by that point. Gotcha. I what with a squid? Oh God! It's bringing in the hentai shit. <laughs> that's hilarious. <or> that's terrible. <laughs> It's actually pretty funny. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls between the windows of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hands and off into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover the poem caught and fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. Go for it. You take a moment to look at where you have to climb. You know, it's so close, you just need to put your foot out there at hand, and then you reach a little bit more. Ow! You're lucky you didn't break your neck before your bruises are going to make it difficult to do anything strenuous for a while. Damn it, I was hoping that would kill us. <laughs> Fuck! That's what I was hoping for! <laughs> I don't know, maybe sneaking out will kill us? Alright, well, at least she's less angry now. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak out of the castle, enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. Yeah, fuck but he's him. an asshole, so fuck him. That was the mood. Middle of the, almost middle of the road. Okay, that's pretty good. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. Oh, oh, no, now no, okay, it's all, only penalties on physical because you fucked yourself. That's fine. I, I had, like... Now I could do some expression shit. I want to express myself, Dad! You're expressing with your full capabilities. <laughs> you tap out chiming dyads on a glockenspiel, learning to do basics of harmony and rhythm. You practice deep breathing exercises to build up your ability to sustain a note. I, was, I always remember playing a little glockenspiel in elementary school music class. Okay. My lady. Her letter is for you. Again? <laughs> She's popular. Another letter from Brioni. Why does he keep writing me? We were never even friends. She says she's bored and lonely, and she's looking forward to seeing me at Winnell's birthday party. That's right, Winnell is about to turn 15. She'll be Duchess of Sudbury for real now. This other letter must be my invitation to a birthday celebration. Gwynell and I were friends at school. This will be a big event. And, and it's also a long way to travel. A lot of things can happen on the road. Go. Oh. It'll be good to see my friends. At this point, I'm just like, anything we can do that will give us to death. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, sorry. Walking ass backwards into victory again. <laughs> Alright, uh... Maybe now that the crystal's gone, we can actually get into the treasury. No. The guards are too scared. <laughs> then it'll get squished like Jeremy. He was only a day away from retirement. <laughs> you sneak a peek at... Okay. Okay. Buzz. Booze. Boozy boos. Okay, well, animal handling, royal demeanor. You got. You can't learn expression anymore. 
Well, at least I got it in there, right? Yeah. And then uh, it was medicine. So. I'll do foreign intelligence and... You know, fuck it, I'll do poison. I don't care. Okay. You do you. It's in intrigue medicine. and medicine. There it is. The current Duke of Sedna is 26 years old and unmarried. He might not be considered a good marriage prospect for you if you desire stronger ties with the domain of Tales. Ah, see, there you go. Mm. You are too angry to focus properly on the subject right now. <laughs> That's okay. On your journey to Sudbury, your carriage is attacked by bandits. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> Archery re reflexes failed. You look down in shock at the arrow, which has buried itself in your side. Outside, you can hear screams and curses, but it feels unreal. Your world is centered around pain. You struggle with the arrow, afraid to pull it loose. You heard a story somewhere about pushing an arrow through the body, so you embrace yourself and give it a shove. Unfortunately, this only drives the arrow deeper into your vital organs, turning a painful wound into a fatal one. Thank God! There we go. We did it! We killed her. Task Thanks. failed successfully! <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We're not going to start this over again. We'll come back to it another time, though, because it is a fun game. Yeah, but just not with me, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Elodie did not survive to reach her coronation. Nova would have to go on without her, but it doesn't have to end this way. Make different choices, train different skills, and, Ed and Elodie's star may rise again. Probably not. She's a zombie! I just quit.